when I heard about the Healthy Business Challenge, I was really excited because what we do is care for the frail elderly, but I think what Spring Arbor does and our parent company, HH Hunt, is care for those who are caring for the elderly. And that was super important to me. So I, I was excited to see where we stood among our peers, you know, and the, so the scorecard came into a piece of that, and where we could do better. Well, it allows us to see what we're doing as a company for our employees, to see uh, how we are measuring up to the other uh, area businesses, but it also gives us great ideas to continue to improve in the future. Uh, we haven't focused on wellness um, until the last couple years, so we're, we're just kind of growing and as we add more employees it's even more important. It sparked us to get a little bit more motivated and it also gave us great ideas to, to build on year after year. I would definitely recommend that other companies participate in the Healthy Business Challenge. It's a great way to see what you are offering to your employees, but it's also a great way to see how uh, you can grow and continue in the future. You know, I think to participate in the challenge is a great tool to really discover where your baseline is and then to really think about how you can improve you know, your employees' health and also their satisfaction because when your employees are feeling healthy and they feel like you're really helping them get healthy, I think they're much happier and I think they work better. So I think being part of HCA, we've had a big advantage because HCA as a company is really pro-employee health. So we had lots and lots of tools to use already. You know, there's Weight Watchers at work, there's great health insurance, there's a walking club, there was a Walk to Las Vegas contest that people could walk and win prizes. So when we won the award, I really had no idea that we were winning anything, and I happened to be at the event. And not only you know was our name called as a participant, but I was shocked that we actually won an award. And I actually brought it back that night to share it with everyone. And it's still in our, in our emergency department. Patients ask us about it, and we're happy to explain what that's all about. Pretty much through the interview process, we are interested in people's approach to wellness. So we want to make sure that if we're modeling, you know, behaviors that are focused around wellness, we want our employees to kind of embrace those those habits. So um, everyone's pretty committed to overall wellness. So getting them on board is semi easy for us. The the wellness challenge is something that we do every year, um, but because the, we were participating in the Healthy Business Challenge, it was kind of a way that we kind of encouraged everyone to participate was by, hey, we're, we're involved in this program, you know, we want to make sure that we're all doing our best to support the scorecard, so uh, we had a little bit better participation because of the Healthy Business Challenge. This is funny, I was expecting to win last year, and I didn't, <laughs> so, and I just kind of thought we would naturally win because of who we are, and then I didn't win, I was like, all right, well, I got to put a little effort on it this year, so this year we put a little bit more effort into it um, because we wanted to make sure that you know, if we are the models of wellness, then we've got to be, you know, setting the example. So, um, so we wanted to win this year. Yeah. I think health and wellness is um, a critical component to to anyone's life, um, and it absolutely affects our ability to be successful as business people. Um, if we're not feeling well, if we're not, um, uh, you know, feeling good, and if we're not healthy, then we're not going to be able to produce at a high level, um, which our clients really require for us to compete. So um, it's just a part of our philosophy as people, and that's translated into being a part of our business philosophy, and I think it's key to being a success. So the purpose of the Healthy Business Challenge is really to provide kind of a competitive aspect to encourage businesses to have healthy workplaces for their employers. So having the challenge, you earn points, you get recognized, and so it's trying to kind of inject a little bit of fun into competitive nature into being a healthy employer. Um, first of all, there's nothing to lose in doing it because no matter what, if you register, you're recognized. Um, so I'm kind of competitive. I like to win. I'm a runner. So um, I think that, you know, particularly for small businesses, you're even more dependent on how you feel, how you as, as an individual, how your employees are feeling. So, so being healthy, encouraging a healthy environment is even more important. So uh, it's not hard. It's, it may sound hard, but it's really, really easy and the Chamber's a resource to help you in so many ways to, to really come up with ideas of how you can do it. I was surprised we were award winners. Um, you know, we put a lot of effort, our management team and myself put a lot of effort into our wellness activities across our organization from our corporate office here in Winchester to our manufacturing plants down the road. Well, we announced that we won our Healthy Business Challenge Award 
uh, through our annual benefits meeting. Our employees were really excited and it's a good way to start out our new year, um, you know, saying that we won the award and getting more people engaged with our Vitality program. Um, and they were quite surprised because we you know we were in competition with some um, high-tech companies in the Loudoun County area uh, and for a manufacturing organization to get people that don't have email um, involved is always a challenge so going above and beyond uh, is what we do in terms of, of wellness. Don't be afraid of the naysayers. Um, I would tell them just because some people might not like the idea of uh, implementing a wellness program if you get your management team on board um, and you have a group of local champions uh, that can champion the program, you can implement it. Because once the champions get involved and the management te team gets involved, it can take off. Uh, so don't be afraid. Jump in. Um, once you're in, you're in. And um, just build on the different programs you have. You can start small. You know, start with, the, you know, organizing, uh, you know, a walk around, you know, at, the, at your lunchtime hour. Um, and let it grow. I would love to see all companies doing this. This is a great way to make sure that you're caring for your employees.